Well, we are looking at partly cloudy skies this morning for most of the area. Some showers and storms are already breaking out on the radar. Let's take a look first at that satellite and radar. As you can see, most of us are dry, but we take a look over there a little bit closer to Port Sulphur. You see some strong thunderstorms there just to the northeast. Lots of lightning associated with these, but it appears to be weakening a little bit as far as the lightning goes. But still, as these continue to push off slowly to the southwest, you can expect a little bit of rainfall around Port Sulphur Trial and also around Boothville, likely in the next 15 to 20 minutes or so. 83 degrees for our current temperatures. Humidity high at 74 percent with a northeast wind at 7 miles per hour. Temperatures across the state right now in the mid 80s for most areas. Still in the mid 70s though in Slidell. Mid 70s over in Homa. 83 in Galliano and 83 over in Boothville. High pressure still at the surface right now. Showers and thunderstorms offshore. But for the most part, along the Gulf Coast, it is mainly dry. Once we heat up this afternoon, we'll have some more showers and thunderstorms to deal with. As we start off the morning, not much happening. Of course, we do have that rainfall over there to our southeast. But into the afternoon hours, you see mainly after 2 or 3 o'clock and even into the early evening like we saw yesterday what uh, actually canceled that LSU game. We're expecting to see some more showers and storms for this evening. By 6.30 you see that potential for a little bit of rainfall kind of lingering into the late evening hours but after 8.30 or 9 things will kind of quiet down and stay quiet as we head through the night. Into tomorrow morning same start for Labor Day. Partly cloudy skies and then into the afternoon expect another 30 or 40 percent chance to see a little bit of rainfall out there. By Tuesday we're really going to repeat that pattern. Things Things kind of change by the end of the week as a front will be approaching the area and will likely move through by the end of the week and at least decrease temperatures into the mid 80s by next weekend. Now we switch gears, go out to the tropics. A few features we're watching here on the screen right now. Tropical depression Fred there. That will continue to weaken and push off to the northeast and it won't get close to the U.S. Now we have another tropical wave coming off of Africa right now and we're also tracking, of course, tropical storm Grace. This is the latest information. This is the 10 a.m. update and winds are still at 45 miles per hour. It's moving a little bit faster at 14 miles per hour and this is the latest forecast cone. It really hasn't changed much. We don't expect it to change much over the next five days, but it is forecast to become a 60 mile per hour tropical storm by tomorrow morning and it will stay around that 60 mile per hour mark through Wednesday, but it's forecast to weaken as it approaches the islands on Friday down to about 40 miles per hour. It's going to encounter the same wind shear that Danny and Erica did, so we expect that to weaken this system. We'll continue to track this. we got a long time to go. By next weekend, it'll just be around or just past the Leeward Islands. That's a look at uh, Grace way over here on the right side of the screen. It has a nice environment to strengthen just gradually over the next two or three days, but near the islands, it's going to encounter strength. Strong wind shear. Here's a look at the model, the GFS model. It will move off to the west. This is Tuesday and Wednesday. There's the Leeward Islands by Thursday and Friday, still maintaining strength as a tropical storm, but then once it approaches the islands, we start to see it breaking up a bit. It's going to be a combination of the interaction of the land masses plus that wind shear, which should weaken that storm into just a tropical wave. Again, we got a week before it gets to the islands. 90 to 93 for highs today. Hot and muggy, isolated storms by tonight. 73 to 78 in the overnight hours. Some lingering showers possible for the evening hours tonight, and then will dissipate overnight and be quiet. Then look at the seven day forecast here. Low to mid 90s through Tuesday. Then showers and storms increase for Wednesday and Thursday as that front approaches the area. And then by next weekend, we're looking at temperatures down into the mid to upper 80s. That's a look at my exact cast.